Oh my god. The season 5 patch notes are out for March 14th. And they look amazing. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, the patch notes are out for Creative Destruction Season 5, which is coming out this Thursday. And oh my god, there's literally some amazing things that they are adding into the game. They're adding snowboards, they're adding new freeze grenades. Oh my god, just check out the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up on the latest info. And enjoy. Let's go. Okay, here we go guys. I am literally just going to run through everything about the March 14th Season 5 update. I've already read a few things from it and it looks absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to run through everything on this list. First... A cold wind is on the horizon. The apocalypse is here. The all-new Season 5 apocalypse has officially begun. As the global economy flourished, humanity entered the era of the artificial intelligence creating robots known as Godian to serve their every whim. But enmity toward the Godian and the awakening of the Godian's consciousness turned this short-lived harmony into a bitter struggle for survival. The awakened Godian pushed back the human forces to the frozen waste of the north. Now it is only a matter of time before the conflict reaches its climax. Oh. So, as you see in my last videos, guys, I've already released a couple of trailers on all the kind of story of how Season 5 is beginning. But we want to find out what new stuff is in the game, right? So let's have a look. So we've got new season passes are now online. You can upgrade your pass to get your hands on a lot of rewards such as an orange firearm skin, cool mech sets. Explorers will receive rewards according to the season five, uh, four tiers. Rare tier, at avatar frame, star coins and gold. And new starting tiers. A cold wind is blowing, Explorer. Will you become the dawn star lead humanity into the light? So guys, yeah, like I said, with the season four battle pass... Uh, however far along you got on it on levels, you'll get rewards equivalent to how well you did on the Battle Pass in Season 4. So, yeah. You've still got, what, one day to grind it out. Uh, the cold climbs of the Northfield effect is boys with a chill effect. So, here it is, the guys. I've, I've read this, and this is this is something amazing they're adding into the game. This is the type of stuff that we want into the game. Something different. Now, the cold climbs of the North will affect explorers with the chill effect. Staying exposed for too long will lower your body temperature, affecting your targeting and even even endangering your life in extreme cases. But don't worry, you can warm up next to your bonfire or use the cold resistant core to withstand the bitter cold. So it looks like, guys, the longer you stay in the colder areas of the map, um, like the ski resort and stuff like that, the colder you get, which means it affects your targeting, which you won't be able to aim as easier. So what you need to do is, you guys have seen the bonfires that have been added into the um, map. Now, I thought they were kind of like checkpoints for like a racetrack or something. But it looks like they're bonfires, so you can stay warm. So, yeah, you can keep your aim straight. And you can also use cold resistant cores as well to withstand the bitter cold. So that's something amazing that they've added in. When adventuring into the cold north, you will accumulate ice cubes. You can fuse ice cubes and grenades in the workshop to make freeze grenades. Freeze grenades can also inflict the freeze effect on targets caught in their blast radius. Frozen targets will briefly be unable to move. So, it looks like another new grenade, guys. A freeze grenade, which I suppose will be quite good. Um, we've got normal grenades. We've got the Molotov napalm. Why not add a freeze grenade? When on the battlefield, you'll gain a snowboard. Snowboard. Not hoverboard. Snowboard. When on slopes, icy surfaces, and certain other locations, you can press the jump button again while in the air to slide with your snowboard. When sliding, you can press the crouch button to put your snowboard away. So they're adding a snowboard. So it's the first vehicle in Creative Destruction. How awesome is that? That's what the ramps are for. The snowboards. Some routes will be attacked by AI Godian and airship routes will be affected. In some cases, airship routes will be out of the way and will be susceptible to being shot down. In the celebration of St. Patrick's Day, a new St. Patrick's theme will be available in the store. Okay, cool. So we'll all it'll be a bunch of Irish leprechauns hopping around everywhere. <laughs> uh, good news, the game will now take up less space on your device. Before clearing data, the MB MVP recording function will save your recordings and unwanted data will no longer be saved. So like I said, guys really appreciate the developers because they're adding in stuff and they're always updating the game to make it optimized for you 
So, firearm adjustments, submachine gun adjustments, adjusted the scattering of the range of the submachine gun, their range will now widen when firing continuously, perfect because like I said the blue Uzi shoots so straight you can easily kill people from like a thousand meters away. So submachine guns are going to be updated so they are only going to be able to be used up close. Increases the rate at which submachine gun bullet damage decays over distance, blah 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 blah. Uh, UMP. So that's just kind of details on how they're upgrading the weapon. So we'll 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 find out out about that in the actual game, guys. So let's have a look at what else they've added. Trap and gadget adjustments. The springboard's durability value of 500 will now be reduced by 100 each time it is used, when used, or when you're attacked. Your springboard will be damaged when its durability value is less than or equal to zero. Okay, uh, the bombing guy is damaged out to its target location, adjusted from 200 to 160, nice. Hunting grounds adjustments, I don't really play hunting grounds, so I'm not really going to go into that. It looks like there's a lot of, a lot of adjustments for that. Um, so they fixed a problem with delayed character elevation after quick building, perfect. So when you quick build, you're going to always be put on top of your quick build every single time now. Season tier point adjustments, optimized player experience, player at gold tier, and can now be more generous season score bonus. Optimized points display when overall ranked score is higher than 10,000. When overall score reaches 10,000, the point display will be show your corresponding number of stars. Okay. Matching rules have been optimized to reduce long matching times. Perfect. So you're going to be able to get into matches a lot quicker. You can now tap the dance wheel in the depot to dance. Pretty sure you could do that anyway. Um, damage statistics in the battle results interface now include damage dealt by explorers, traps and gadgets to other explorers and buildings. So they're going to show a lot more damage indicators for players now. Uh, new defeat elimination ranking system. Rankings are based on the ratio of explorers to fleets eliminations in the current season. PC client adjust adjustments. Fixed a problem where the keyboard keys that has been pressed needed to be repressed to take effect once gaining control of the character after being controlled by various effects. So... There's not too many details about the stuff they're kind of... I mean, there's a lot of people... I, I've seen other content creators complain about the PC version and the lag and the, the weird stuff that happens. I play mobile now and I think the mobile version is perfect. The only criticism I've got in the mobile version, if the developers are watching this, is getting stuck on things. I hate it when you're walking past a tree and you're like a meter away from it and you somehow get stuck in position and you have to move out and your own builds as well. You've got your own wall. You're walking, breezing past it about a metre, two metres away from it, and you're still getting stuck. They need to make it more smoother around objects. That's the only criticism I've got in the game at the moment. I think everything else is perfect, especially on the mobile version, because now we play mobile a lot more. Um, so, yeah, I think some of the content creators are going to be a bit annoyed about the, uh, the non-changes that we're not seeing in the patch notes for the PC version, but... I guess we'll find out on Thursday and see exactly how good it is. Because um, this could be make or break for CD. Season 5. The game is at its climax at the mo uh, its kind of peak at the moment. So this could be make or break. So let me know in the comments what you think about those patch notes. And uh, snowboard. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That's season 5 patch notes. We're going to find out this Thursday uh, what it's all about. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, to keep up on, on the latest info. I'll always update you guys. I'll put another video out on Thursday when the actual Season 5 comes out. I'm so glad they're adding some of the stuff they're adding, like the snowboard and stuff. It's going to be a lot easier to get around. Like I said, I told you vehicles were coming. I know it's not vehicles, but it's still a means of transport to get around quicker. So, appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit a thumbs up if you're feeling frisky. Yeah, boy!